Hello. Yes, hello. <laughs> As you can see, I had to delete all of it. Because I never actually played all of it. I played until like episode 2, but then I had no time. And I got bombarded. But I will continue playing Soma probably later. Yeah, we got time to tell stories, Kayla. I gotta tell stories. Might play Soma again. I'm not sure when. Probably tomorrow or something. Later in the afternoon. Who knows if we finish this or something. I don't know how long this game is. I played until episode 2 again. Then I unlocked this. But I never, I don't think I started it or finished it. So let's do this shit. <clears throat> Give me stranger things, but <laughs> Okay, Omar Khan. Why are you giving me stranger things vibe, dude? Don't remember much of it. The last time I played this was like last year. <laughs> that was played in like episode two. Play 4 a.m. Wait for, <laughs> wait for 11th century. She gotta pop out there like here. Close the drive with the family. Holiday home. Park the car. It's dark, but it's idyllic. So you remember from all that time ago. Remember being told to look in the glove box for going in. It's gotta be back. Check. Glove. Oh, I love the sound. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from your dad. You take both. Read note. Notice from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator on back to get power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room, enjoy. Pull up the driveway, blah blah blah. It's the same thing. Why do I have a crosshair for a thing? It's, okay, um, I got the key. Leave car? You open the car door and step out. Now this is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the inside of the house. Well, my dad told me to go back. Go behind the house. Door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open. I don't know. <laughs> Enter door. I'm sorry, I don't understand. What? Check door. Look. The trees stretch up to the night sky. There's the house and the yard. Go to house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house in the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Um, we need to go around back. You can't see much in the dark. But do find a light switch. Use light switch. But we have to open the generator. I click and nothing. There's no power. The note should say how to restore it. Go to the backyard. Step outside the front door. The house is grand. Oh. <laughs> kick door open. <laughs> you have to kick the front door. Okay, and this charge is inside. Go to side of the house you step inside no <laughs> what do you mean you not read note you can't read oh <laughs> go back oh my god dude probably use the front door and the yard so just sitting inside of the house 
<clears throat> North Story Dad and Reed. Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back. Turn the lights on. Go around back. Should I do that? Go. Go around. Go around. Back. Where would you like to go? Behind the house. Go to backyard. Take a run. Oh my god, there you go. The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of your house. Turn on, on generator. You switch the generator on and it works the life. The house is still dark. Go back to front. Nice. It's gonna be a bit slow. In front of you is the front door, and blah, 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 go inside. Then I'm gonna turn on the light switch. You switch. Click the switch, and the lights come on. Nice. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room here. So a set of stairs going up. Well. says we can go to the attic so let's go to the attic go use stairs go upstairs go upstairs to the landing the stairwell landing there's a bathroom and two bedrooms yours and your sister's pictures adorn the walls images of happy times standard landing there are picture frames on the wall go to attic there's something in the attic i'm sorry i don't understand the stairwell Go to my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. And the desk is a gift wrap. Oh! We don't have to go to the attic. I don't... What was... Why did I think it's in the attic? Dude? Enjoy a break. You'll need to fire a generator around back. Get power and lights on. Also... Oh, she found something in the attic. And it's in my room. Fuck's sake. I should learn to read. Let's gift wrap box. Open gift. I have to give excitedly. Can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a future 1108K plus 2. It's been preserved well, and hopefully it still works. Your old bedroom. So, so well. On your desk, future 108 computer, and a copy of the house abandoned. Oh, the game I'm playing. It's all still to set up, though. Set up computer. You start to plug in various cables and leads. Leads. <laughs> We're just all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Look. Use game? Play play game. Computer and press play. Oh. Whoa. What the happened, dude? <laughs> Play Apex. Get out, get out. Oh shit, man. Yeah, dude, I think it's 11 or some shit. Pull the drive of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. Can't stand to be near this place. Okay. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from dad. You take both. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out the car, get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. Okay. I guess we're going out the car, dude. What the hell? I'm sorry, I don't know how to get. Step out car. I'm sorry. Go out the car. Get out. You force the warp car door open. Fall out. What? It's Vecna. No, I mean, oh no. I'm in my dream state. I need my music, dude. The yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There's no love here. Go in. 
use key on front door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use key. Use key, bro. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside. Um. Dude, you heard that, guys? <laughs> as soon as I get inside, someone opened the door downstairs, dude. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This cannot be less inviting. The note burns in your hand. You, fe you're f you feel compelled to read over and look. Fumbling around the wet walls, you find a light switch. You switch. There's no power to the lights. Generator must be off. Go outside. I'm gonna need to turn on the generator. Go back outside, coward. Wow. Shut up, man. Vecna's on my ass. Play some Mario music. <laughs> There's no love here. Go to backyard. Step through the debris to the backyard. Grass overgrown and weeds curl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. There's no generator next to you. Use generator. Oh, everything we're doing is happening in real life. There is much people. The viewers are up. Uh, it is opening up. Um, go back inside. Go back to the front of the house. I see the market player video. Pretty play the game that ends up being them. Yeah, I think it actually is the this part. I only finished up to like episode two, but I forgot it because like I played this last year. I have done episode 3 and 4, there's like 4 episodes said. Since they're punished by more the smell, stay there and damp. This could not be less than mine. The bone burns in your hands, you feel compelled to read over and over. Oh wait, no. Use switch. Use light switch. Afraid of what you might see? You flick the light switch. Kachuk. Lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet. And this thing- Oh! Oh! <laughs> stop, make it stop, make it stop. What the shit? <laughs> You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and living room adjacent, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your head. No, we're going upstairs, though. We're gonna check ourselves out. Get upstairs. They creak. Oh, <laughs> same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over, but something is different from now. Oh no! Oh no! Go to my. But differ, and the landing is next to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. They're all over, but something's different from about them. Oh, there's a four digit code. The landing is bare and worn. Photos adorned the wall and all misaligned. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to bathroom then. Another bathroom. Bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of look around. Broken mirror hangs above their dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Wait. I go back. Because Michael Bryce Let's Play Real Life, really? That's the name of his. Same but differ and the landing has access to your sister, sister's room. Blah blah blah. Your room. Go to your room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit code. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy. The note heavier. You grab the lock and can input the code. See this? We're gonna input that.
What? Oh, so it's not that? Okay. There go the lock. Okay, so it's somewhere in the house, not not this one, I guess. Somewhere in the house. Let's head to the kitchen. Someone's in the house. They should go go Yeah, kitchen. Let's go to kitchen then living room. Go to kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal and there's a carcass. Of carcass? There's a writing on the wall. And the utility room door has a red text. Read the writing on wall. Whoa, in blood number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Go upstairs. Go back and go upstairs. 1986. 1986. 1986. Oh, it's right there. Whoa, this shit. So cool. I'll be here. Get upstairs for where the noise came from. The stairs creak. Same but different. Okay, we're gonna input 1986. Oh shit! It's on my right. closed oh <laughs> hello uh, the bedroom feels a little familiar the walls are damp but you've been here before in front of you a lone person sits in front of a computer <laughs> He's breathing on me. The lamp is on. The clock is ninety-nine. Just me here. Just me. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take. I've been in this place. I was out of my hands, but still, you punish me. I can't be with you now. There's what the hell? <laughs> He's breathing on me. Rocking back and forth, consumed by guilt. Oh. What do I do? Ground? <gasps> Go to person. Look at person. Walk to person? Inside your room? He's already inside, so I don't. What do you want to do? Behind? And. Oh! All I had to do was. <laughs> no! Oh, please stop. Stop. It was all my fault. Say it. No. Why would I say it? It's not. No! Just say it! Never! Just say it! No! Just say it! Never! Ever! Okay, it was all my fault. You gotta get somewhere. Finally. Am I gonna die? Oh. Well, Vecna killed me, I guess. Oh, dang! This episode one. Why is there Dr. Daniels and stuff? Where's the doctor? There was a doctor there? First aid? Uh, 
Episode 2! Let's go. Lab conduct. A crown go to an open commentary, friends. Use them often. Uh, look at this episode two. I like this keyboard. I want this keyboard. There's like F1, F2, and all of it on the side. I have to have that rather than on top, you know. But it's gonna be like the keyboard's gonna be long. <laughs> John McKellon. This is subject 12, 1986 23. Entry. We have myself, Dr. Oh, there, Dr. Alexander. By Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. I'm Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. Crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Urgent, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal. Look at this! It looks so slick! Calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match up, there's just no, like, the, light will flash. the no, keypads, the not keypads, the um, arrow keys. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. Okay. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Subject MEM is closed in solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact determines internal. How to use X-ray? Required camera, monitor, and... Okay, how do you go there? Wait, how do we... Oh, tab. Okay. We need to turn on what? Camera, monitor, camera. Camera, camera. Is this a camera? Okay, camera, monitor. Switch to x-ray. Okay. Charge CC86. CC86. Oh, here. There we go, then Sync Master. Okay, good work. The x ray is coming through. Ah. There's no visible damage to the surrounding object. I think that material, crap is that. But no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Begin what? Experiment complete. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low-powered red laser to begin with. Laser, laser, laser. Two. Okay, monitor set to RGB. We don't need the camera. I think we need to. It's RGB R3. Then a laser to light generator. Laser to light. Set six fifty nanometers. Ooh. Looks like a heart. No reaction from first stage. Let's try high frequency. The shade effects use the green laser. Five ten nanometers. What happens? Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's Higher? Again. Increase again. Okay. Increase the laser energy, use the brew, 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 brew
for 55 nanos. Oh, ooh, wait. it's beating. The what? Did you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Okay. Push further. Push further. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. We can generate a 50 hertz sine wave with empire gain set to one. Okay. Signal generator and amplifier. Turn that off. Set frequency and waveform. Signal and amplifier. Signal. Amplifier? Where's amplifier? I think that's the amplifier, right? <laughs> what in the crap? Okay. Yeah, this is the amplifier. Um, E. That's the acoustic 250 hertz sine wave. Nope, not what I needed. Sine is like, okay. 250. Fifty hertz on where? This is okay. Set to one. There you go. It's not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Man. 500 hertz, 5. What's 5? 500. I'll go up once. There we go. Ooh -wee. What's happening? Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Increase to the risk of damage. What about a uh, volunteer? I'm a volunteer. Okay, we're gonna push further. What? Time to switch around. Okay, what do we need to do? Go stick square 500 and gain. A square wave again. Pretty sure it's the first one, but like I need to be sure. Yep. Oh god. We're seeing good activity on this side. Seeing definite spikes in movement. Yep. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous. But you need to trust us and keep going. But it seems like I'm gonna die. Team 5 square waveform. Bring the waveform 1 kilohertz. 1 kilohertz is like. A thousand, so yeah. Heart exploded. Okay. As we go through these next steps, we're going to attempt to alleviate. Alleviate some discomfort. What type of mean, my friend? Detective casing is off. Proceed to drill surface. Drill? We're gonna drill it? 
Switch drill on. Really? Sure, i going to the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger your sync master as normal to begin. I'm gonna drill it? Oh god. Oh! What have they be done? How do you feel? Weird. Don't be scared. We have a situation under control. It's lighting up, sir. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. Wait, wait, that's part of the thing? My contact with our open that open it. Safety instructions? Do I have safety goggles and gloves? Open the test chamber. Okay. Oh god. Stay calm. Okay. You're doing fine. But it's going out. I'm sorry to have to do this, but god. we have to know. Know what? Okay, I'm sorry guys, it's a uh, epilepsy warning, I think. Oh god! Whoa. Oh dang! I'm bleeding? My head bleeding? You're a proxy now. You have You're a connection to the entity's inner core. I'm the inner core for something. What? It's like a conscious black box. Okay. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. Okay. You gotta look in. Grass. The circle. What was that? What in the hell? Wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity, you force yourself up. Impact into the planet, service has torn a hole into the ship hull. Poison atoms are supposed to aircraft. You're in grave danger, you have to get out of here. Remarkable. You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. Okay. Look around. Maybe there's a thing here. Craft is wrong beyond repair. There's a wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight. And the open computer terminal has changed some things. Use airlock door. The airlock door is clamped shut. It's controlled remotely. Use computer terminal. You tap at the screen and the airlock door splutters to life. Slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to a silence. Having spent the last of reserves. Go out. You use airlock door. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different and not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is hiding. What oh dear are you gonna show me? Oh god! A oh man! Man, what the hell? <clears throat> you squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around to see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding range. It's incredible. How are we getting all of this? It's describing the moment we found the ship. Miss Asian, please continue. A crash site. Smoke builds from the downed ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. Lights that surround you now attack your senses. A circle of artificial lights surround you, set up to illuminate the crash light in darkness. Behind them, an army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Oh, that's the guy! 
Go to silhouette. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. I think I might die, All doctor. Works, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Okay. Well, I'm uh, I'm a volunteer, so I guess. Okay, that's a silhouette. Doctor Daniel. A heart monitor. Cables. God, be awake. The room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and location of the machine beam. Your touch is in yours. We are all as one. We move together in unison. We are in a bed, in a small artificially lit room with single door. There is some sort of writing painted to the wall. A genius display model with wires that drape across the room into our chest. They have tortured us. This doesn't happen. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at a crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? Take out wires. Oh, it's happening right now. <laughs> we yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together, we all scream in pain. The action sets off an alarm going loud. Look around. No, not, not look around. Look around. We are in a bed, in a small and artificial lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing pinned to the wall. Jesus is displayed. Go, go to door, go, go to door. Open door. Ooh, let's go! Oh my god, it's that vision. It's not a memory, it's happening right now. Mr. Asian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No, you're torturing us. We are in unison. Oh? Oh. Blinking lights? Whoa! A woman's face and a door. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. Looks familiar. They didn't know how it works, but this host does. The floor glows behind us in black plump shots. We are alone, slashed together. Use device. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is that? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our system, it's sending something across the network. Whoa, 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 okay. It's broadcasting. What's that? Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we're Eight. going through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We okay, eight. Lightning V, Lightning V. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Seven. What's seven? What's seven? There's a line here, like this. It's a fourth one. With the square. Yeah! <laughs> we are getting out of this place together. My alien friend. Oh, dang! They're all free. They're converging. It's over. My people. We are one. I have freed you. Gonna lean in. I gotta learn more. Oh, Mr. Asian, please don't do this. We we mean you. We mean them no harm. Please. No, don't you mean us right. no harm. What? Oh, that's what you do. One day, Mr. Asian, this will haunt you. Well, I'm one with them, so you're on the. We're in the bad end of the line, if I say so myself. Hey, that's why you don't mess with it. Why are you gonna drill like alien life form or something, dude? Why'd you do that? So stupid. Drivers? James Asian. I'm James Asian. Drivers? Okay. Let's go. Start this. Some commands, maybe case sensitive. Like, look up for hints. Okay, what will this bring us now?
I mean, so far it's like different stories. This is episode two. You know, this is episode three. But these things are from episode three. When I alt tab, it alt tabs in game as well. Station three, do you read me? Give me a sign, man. This storm is getting pretty wild. Phoenix. <sighs> Come on, three, log in. Quit fucking around. I'm sorry, man. Chill. I just got in. 1968. What? 1968. The thing always. 1986. There he is. Sup, so, uh, I just walked in. Still broken in station three. Yep. Take that as a yes. Oh, yep. that as a yes. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can't reply. You should be able to hear you though. Can see activity registering, so your voice is definitely going through. Oh, okay. We can chat later, three. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna chat. Serious. I've had a distress call from Central. There's a situation and we have to fire up signal monitoring and relay systems right away. What kind of situation? I don't know. What's the situation? The Whatever it is, it's big. I want bombers. bread. Shit. Okay, what do we do then? Without. Well, I my... forgot what the, what the meme was. Fucking cabin power isn't holding up in this weather, so I can't process the signals myself. Two. You need to feed the frequency information through to the backup terminal in station three. Gotcha, boy. And three, you just need to Ooh. tune, decode, and process. Just refer to the handbook on the microfilm. It'll walk you through it. Microfilm. I've never done any of this stuff, so I'm not going to be much oh, help, I'm afraid. God, sorry. It's simple, honestly. You could do this in your sleep. Okay. First one is due to appear in a minute or so. Have a quick read of that microfilm handbook. It should be on your left. I'm gonna get suited up and restart the generator. Don't fuck it up. Zoom? Oh, these. Oh, God, it's spinning non stop. No, please. Why are you spinning like that, dude? It's weird ass. Okay, do you zoom? Three, we're up. Do whatever it is you're supposed to do. Oh, here. Oh, wait, no way. Oh, what do I do? FM 119.30 Kilohertz Zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine, three. Thirteen, zero, fourteen, fourteen, nine. Okay, no. I think I need this for now. Wait, what? Okay. There we go. Abacus. 13, 0, 14, 14, 9, 3, Abacus. Mask? Pants says? 
I'm gonna code C6, C.exe minus D minus E. Okay, shut up. Allocate, allocate. Why can't we zoom? Allocate two o two a. Output log false. Okay, my light here just turned green and the signal stopped. So I think you did it right. Next one coming up in 30 seconds, apparently. 30 don't seconds. Don't hanging too long. I don't know what they're for. But I know we have to make them top priority or I'll get shit. Of course, don't worry, we'll keep on top of it. Okay, there it is. Creepy sounding things, aren't they? Chevron. Okay, mate. Sigma. Chevron, Chevron, Chevron. Twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ref dot in it. WZ. Twenty six fourteen zero one two twenty six rock begin fourteen zero one two was that twenty six fourteen zero, get that in X Y Z. Twenty six fourteen zero one two two fifty six twenty twenty six fourteen zero one two two one two twenty six fourteen zero one two twenty six Okay. Twenty six zero fourteen zero one two. Okay. Twenty six fourteen zero one two. Okay. Twenty six fourteen. Fourteen zero one two. Fourteen zero one two XYZ where X is second, fifth, and Z sixth number from six, fourteen zero one two twenty six fourteen zero one 
20, 50, 14, 0, 1, 2, 20, 50, 14, 0, 1, 2, 20, 50, 14, 0, 1, 2, 20, 14, oh my god, I, zero, my god. One, two. Yeah, oh. for just pushing this update to the transmitter now. Yeah, sure, dude. Huh? No. Next one coming up. Um, one. What does GCS mean? GCS? What do you mean? Yeah, now this next one has come through with an additional note. GCS3 equals E1, V1, M1. I've not seen it before. Check the microfilm. Might be something in there about it. Listen, let me know when you're done with that one. I haven't heard back from the transport team and I'm starting to worry. Sure thing. Okay, here it is. Whoa. Okay, that's different. Flashing red screen. Yeah, quite the warning sign. Shit. Something's going on. The last team must have just been testing the system. Tune it as normal and I'll see what I can find out once I get these goddamn lights on. It's fucking Morse code. On the J45. Shit. I need to... Wait. Crap. Eight, nine, seven, seven, it's zero. Okay. Boop. Nine seven seven. Three? Okay. One two three four block. One two da da da. One two da da da. One two. Zero. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Zero nine seven seven three zero. There. Your lens popped my doctor morning, right? Whenever it's the dog doing I don't know man, it just popped up. I'm testing eleven L or some shit, dude. Not that way. Not that way. Not in that way, bro. Oh, what are you doing? Why are you rotating? Uh I need cancers, cancers, cancers. Cancers, cancers, cancers. Yeah, I bet the number. Yeah, see that? The number is needed. You tried. Point that PKG that DX. Okay, no, no, no. Point that PKG that DX. X is what? Largest number. Nine and zero. So, what is that? Sal so, minus A minus 4G. Oh, 
all caps. Yeah, you thought, game, you thought, man. Okay, one, we're done. Nothing has happened really, all good. What did you want? I'm about to head outside to look at this generator. My cabin is completely out. Listen, I just checked the roster and we were supposed to hear from the supply team three days ago. But I've had nothing. No responses either. Shit. The storm? I hope not. Three. What is this? Can you monitor a range for me? Why is Philippine smart of it? Emergency signal somewhere between eight, eight and a half thousand range. FM. See if you can track it down for me. That's our supply for the next six months. If they turn back, what do we do? We can reschedule. I'm more worried that they didn't turn back. Otherwise, we'd be having a drink by now. The boat was called 20F. God, yeah. Okay. Three. Eight to eight thousand five hundred. Eight and a half thousand FM somewhere. See if you can pick up a distress signal or something. Getting closer. Wait, what? To FM? Does anyone read? Oh. Supply vessel 20F, do you read me? Oh yes. Oh my god, that FM. This is a distress signal from supply vessel oh, shoot. 20F. Please respond. Is anyone there? I can't talk, my mic's not working! We don't have enough supplies to last whatever this is out. We have some on board, but it's not enough. We try to turn back, but storm. Or them. Fudge, oh, dude. GPS and them? Yeah, what on earth is he talking about? Hold Who's here. them? We just got word from Central New, New York, York has fallen? Everyone's gone there. They're coming? Who's coming? Is this the aliens? Be ready. All of you. It's 20 FR. One, are you there? Are you hearing this? Lock your door too. Three, do the same. What do you mean? Lock my door. Did you hear the report? I just got a call from Station B at the coast. Wait, <laughs> okay, I just noticed. What in the world is so dark in there? I don't know what, but they said... He's gonna come out of my screen. I'm gonna die. Then it went dead. What are you talking about? Just do it. They're here. Who? Oh, who are they? Just close Shit, it. One, there's another what? GCS signal coming in. Do we do we process it still? Yeah. As long as the GCS number is going up, we're helping a lot of people. It was three last time. It's six this time. What does it mean? That's good. That's good. Just nice. process the signals. Zulu. That's it in. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Mike. Zulu. Right. Zulu. He's right there. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Okay. Right. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Can I copy and paste it here? Yep, I can. My. Nope, again. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Frequency Hotel. is six nine seventy. Bravo. Echo. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. 
Bravo. Thirteen. Two. S. Sierra. Zulu. Sierra. Twenty-one. Bravo. Sierra Hotel. My. Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Hotel Bravo. Eight four seven. Oh. My. Zulu. Sierra. There we go. Meet that. Centaur. Bravo. Echo. Don't zoom in. My. Zulu. Cent Centaur? Sierra. Chevron. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Okay, we don't need the numbers now. Good. M dot status minus R. What am I doing? Zulu. Sierra. Hotel. Bravo. Echo. Why is it minus three? My. Okay, Zulu. command that string when is it? Hotel. Bravo. Echo. H dot grid dot W. My. Zulu. There's something I don't know what I'm looking at. Cabling? Cabling? One, I can see something above three's cabin. Oh no. One of the power lines down. One? One, are you there? Oh <laughs> Nope, it's moving, dude. Fuck. What the hell is that? I can't see you from here, one. What's going on? It's above me. Shit, it's above me as well. Me. It's over station three too. They Who's hit. here? What's here? Jesus one, what the fuck is out there? Exactly. It's fine. It's fine, you'll be fine. What explain what's out there? Oh shoot. One's gone. Shit. Here's another signal. G C S seven equals E one V five M one. One what the hell? It's flashing urgent. Five. Five. One eight nine zero four five. Copy. Paste. One sacrifice. Eight, nine, so he sacrificed zero, himself. Four, oh, there it is. Oh, thank good thing I took note of that. Holy crap, guys. Or any of you walking around in that Nine. storm? That's Zero. crazy. Four. You're getting yourself killed. Five. No one is outside. You're seeing things, four. One, eight, nine, zero, four, five. I'm gonna deal with that later. Actuate that Y. One, eight, nine, zero, four, Point five. that one, Z. Okay, now what is X? X is the numbers 1, 2, and 3 represent the longitude. 3. Number station 3. This is station 4. Do not go outside. Don't go out there. Stay inside. Lock up. Do not go out there. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, and 3. 1, 2, 3. So let's say 1, 8, 9. And what? Represent a longitude. Four five six. Four five six. No? Well four five six. You're four five. Guys, I'm shutting down Nine. station five and getting the fuck out of here. Nine. They oh took my god, six. the stations are getting six down. Is fucking five. gone. And they see just ripped it out of the ground. One eight nine zero four five. Signal modulation. One, eight, 
six, nine, zero, four, five. Broadcast from a total number of broadcast numbers. What? Is the total greater than 30? Do I have to add that? What? What do you mean if it's greater than 30? Total of broadcast numbers. No, Alexander. What do you mean authorization from Appendix, appendix C? Okay. So I have to go back to that again. Why aren't we locking our doors, dude? We're here still doing this. Three. James. The last signal hasn't sent. My terminal is going crazy demanding a response. I think the wind is misaligned the transmitter or something. We need to go but out. But he to said it. we can't go out. Please, James. I'm sorry, but I can't get out. I'm trapped. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Go. Go. Oh, crap. Look down. Oh, we're getting dragged. Well, bye. <laughs> bye, number three. I mean, two. Ow. Why did he get <laughs> Why did he get dragged out? <laughs> what is this? Oh. oh, we can actually move. Damn, this is a weird take on this. It's misaligned. Okay. Why am I doing this? I thought they're here. I thought there's someone here. Like aliens or something. I don't know why I'm holding shift. I'm just not even... Not even running. Why is it so... Is it me or I need glasses? I think I need glasses in game, dude. <laughs> I need glasses in game. Why don't I have glasses in game? And why am I doing this? I thought there's something out there. I'm gonna die or something. Something, something's following me right now. I don't know, man. I'm holding on to these. I don't want to get blown away. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just something. Oh, nice. It's just... What do I need? Oh, generator. Something turned it off. There's another one. Why is the other generator way out here? Why is it windy? 
What's happening in my stream? Okay. Still going. Are we right in Antarctic? Or what? Go, James, go! I like how we're all James in the story. <clears throat> I bet we're, our last name is Asian as well. James Asian. Um, why are the birds flying? What the... I can't feel my legs, James. Why are... The birds are flying in the same place. I'm so tired. Why is there a car here? When this... Oh no. Run, James! What are you doing? James, please. What do you mean, what am I doing? You told me to fix the stuff, you told me to get out. Are you a skinwalker? He's coming back. Who's coming back? Why are you question mark? Why are the birds flying? What? How are birds here? Why are birds? Why birds? Why are there whispers? That's it. He's coming back. What is? What do you mean? There's a trap? Is this a trap? Am I gonna die? James, everyone is waiting on you. You need to wake up. Oh, dude, I'm still in Vecna's place, dude. These machines—they are your life. Play me the songs. What machines? James, go to them. Tell them what happened. What in the what is Vecna doing here, bro? Mr. Asian, can you hear me? Yes, but why are you? What? We're back in the house. Welcome back. Oh my god. We got goosebumps from that, bro. See, drivers again, James Asian. You saw that? There's a James Asian there. Check on something real quick. I'm gonna ask my mom if she's going to work. Okay, let's do this. Last session. See, we can finish this, and probably I can play Soma. Let's go, one last time. Oh, it looks grainy. It doesn't look as 4K earlier. What what's happened? <laughs> what happened to the so that's enough oh. of that for now? Um I'm watching a show. What? You're fond of the show, aren't you? It's a show? I've been playing a game. What does this mean? What is happening? Can you play it? Okay, come on. I, I, why did I? Excuse why am I the changing the DPI? Room. Oh my god, it's horrendous. Hey, boss. Yes. What's this? Breathe. Keep going. You have to help. Sometimes you do things. Sometimes still things are wrong. Get out. Get out. Get out of the car. Read what they said. What? Who said? Oh, I think subtitles. Weird things.
This place must be starting to feel like home to you. Don't worry. Exit! Try and get you out of here eventually. Oh. Well, I'm in a hospital. I'm just in here. And in a wheelchair. Okay, are we through in the next room? Just relax and we'll get started in a moment. Right, Mr. Asian, now are you ready? Why are you not here? Just hit record on the tape deck in front of you when you're ready. This is subject. 12, 19, 86, 23. Still the same. New session entry. We From have myself, second. Dr. Alexander leading, and in a room we have our patient, patient, Mr. James Asian. As we know, James has recently recovered from a two-week coma, coma following his accident. Accident. In our last three sessions, James's attempts to recollect events of the accident seen him merging his memory with his imagination. These episodes have always ended in panic, and we've had to terminate oh. the session abruptly. Let's try and do this one better, James. So when you're ready, let's bring this back. I know how difficult this must be, but you can do this. James, it's time to remember. Um. Your mind Whoa. is like a conscious black box. I'm sorry, someone's chatting me. <laughs> Breathe. Sorry, taking a while. Um. Wait, I'm in the end chatting someone. <laughs> God. Okay, I think I've managed to do it. I can show you your memories. Like talk. Look into it. Okay, epilepsy warning, guys. Why is the walls drooping down? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna look into it because I'm. Just... I don't know what's happening anymore. <laughs> I'm back here. In your most recent episode, you recalled a false memory of a remote. remote weather station. Mm, I don't think you it's are false. from the rest of the world. Locked inside your coma. Oh. With you Whoa. Central operation message authentication is coma. 
Your family would do number puzzles with you. Anything, really, to bring you back. People needed answers, James. Do you remember? I have another signal here for you, James. Are this my it family? It's 5610 FM. You can't miss it. So is this my family? There it is again, 1986. Wait, I'm gonna have to put it here. There we go. <laughs> Putting it on my this new tab. Is, this is 20F 12 19 86 23. Okay. Zero four. Police department. Road traffic accident. This is, this is this weird. In the car accident. This is 20F. That 20F fatal 12, accident. 19, 86, 23, 04. Type in the numbers, James. Guess. Whiskey control. This is 20F. Drunk driving? 12. Wait, let me read the report. I have done seen to discover two cars that had been involved in a near head on collision. Mr. Asian found lying down outside his vehicle with head injuries. An ambulance was immediately called. His passenger was trapped in the vehicle in critical condition from wounds sustained in the collision. The driver of the blue sedan, Mr. S Mr. Hennings, was found dead on arrival. It was always that there was a strong smell of whiskey from the driver and an empty whiskey bottle in the passenger seat. Mr. Asian was questioned on scene. He described the oncoming blue sedan being clearly out of control, which he swerved to avoid. Mr. Asian's passenger was his sister. The driver of the blue sedan is an ex-police officer of 20 years. My sister died. What do you mean to face it? My sister died, my boy! It's not likely. At all. I've worked with Officer Henning for six years and not once have we even talked about alcohol. Drunk driving. He, he was a father, a husband. He was fine. No way he caused this. It's him. This Haitian guy. He's got something to hide. Me? But they found the whiskey on the driver's seat of your car. Uh, only seems abandoned. Traversion is blurry. Okay, I guess I'm not going there. Why are you keep blaming me? You tense up. Someone else is here. One here. Oh. Key. You grab the keys from the table, the way heavy in your hand. 
Okay. Tea room. This is where I watch this, right? You spend most of the waking moments here. In the video you have some horror compilation. Trash. The waiting area is dark, but you feel the presence right behind you. Don't do this, dude. What the hell, man? Some breeze on your neck, standing over you. You feel dread in the pit of your stomach. Whoa. Okay, we have a 22-year-old male just brought in from a vehicle collision. He was awake and mobile at the scene, but collapsed on arrival to the emergency ward. What? The other passengers died in the accident. I'm getting no pulse. Prepare for defib. Amp charge full to 10 and give me 100 joules. Oh my god, why am I performing this on myself? Come on, 100 joules. Yeah, wait, wait. To 10. Come on. Hey. Yeah, it's... Camera? Oh. No reaction from first stage. God, self experiment. Dude. Let's try yeah. higher. 200 higher. 200? Am I gonna die? I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm alive. Because, you know. 200 joules. <laughs> Charge at 10. Let's go. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here. Oh. Signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. 360. Charge full. So, what I was doing was like reliving my moments through the stories? Come on, 360, hurry. Sorry, 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 I'm trying. Clear. <laughs> well, would you look at that? So Seems it's not aliens? Pulse. Rhythm is stable. We need to run an x-ray right away. Oh, that's me. X-ray. Where are we with that x-ray? Let's get it going now, please. What do we need? X-ray, right? Okay. What are you doing in X-ray? Where are we with that X-ray? Let's get it going now, please. Yeah, X-ray is right here. This where the laser. Oh, here. I'm so dumb. There we go. CC86, I remember that. Looks like an intracerebral hemorrhage. We need to drain this now to relieve pressure. Prepare for trepanation. Trepanation? Switch on a drill, please. Drill? We're drilling my head? The drill, please. Mr. Asian, oh God! You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. But they're drilling my you head. Need to stay calm and try to relax while we go through the. Oh movement. God! We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this. Oh God! Jeez! Ow! Why am I awake when doing this? What the sh? Oh. Not only tonight you receive, but tomorrow you leave on a six month trip abroad with friends. Mom, dad, and your sister Jennifer decide to throw a party to celebrate it all. The house is full. We're in the living room, and as usual, you don't recognize us all. God, why is my end key not working? And... The room is full of chatty strangers, mostly friends of mom and dad. There's a door to the hall. Go to hall. Push through the crowd into the hallway. The hallway is as welcoming as ever, only this time the folks have a great big banner up across the wall. 
half finished drinks are abandoned on almost every rise in the service. Stairs lead up, all the parties firmly downstairs. Go to the kitchen, I guess? You see, all the best parties are in the kitchen. The kitchen is full of people in doubt. There are drinks and food on the table, and the party's in full swing. They had us cooked hog roast, ooh, which is probably on the table, although no one's eating it. Eat hog. Maybe later. Well, there's a utility room and writing on the wall. Also, Jen is here signaling you. Look at writing. Sorry, I don't know. Look writing. Look at writing on the wall. Look, look at wall. Go to Jennifer. <laughs> Oh my god, it doesn't want me to read it. You hug, you're going to miss each other. You thank her for the party. She asks if you are enjoying the party? Yes. You tell her it's great, even though you don't really know anyone. She tells you to enjoy it anyway, and to loosen up, she asks you to get her a drink. Get drink. Drink again? She speaks she speak about asking you to get her a drink. Get drink. Pour Jenna a drink, and one for yourself too. There's never an awkward silence with Jennifer. She always has a question. She asks if you have everything sorted for the big trip. E no. You tell her no. That as usual, everything is last minute. <laughs> uh, another hug. Your family have really gone out their way to make this trip happen for you. Might be what you need to get some perspective and maybe not freak up so much. She's going to miss you. I'm going to miss her. She walks away. Maybe could be a test subject. Wait. Eat well, mon. Uh, what else? Who messaged me? No one. Okay. Jen has disappeared into the crowd. You're left standing, nodding and smiling at the approving faces. There's so much to do for this move. Can't mess it up. First, a drink. Drink. You pour and down another drink. Minute to move the night along. The room is full. There's a utility room and writing on the wall. Go to utility room? You open the door and peer in. You're never allowed in here normally. This is where dad keeps his fine wines and whiskeys, sealing to the floor racks. It's a collector, although he does usually drink them too. There's a bottle with a ribbon around it and a card. Check bottle. It's a gift from dad, I think. There's a card next to it. Read card. You pick up the whiskey and the card. It's your dad's handwriting. Son, we're so proud of you and everything you've achieved. You've earned this. It's a bottle of 25 year old double malt. You shouldn't really, but you have to try it. With your whiskey in hand, you take in the room around you. There must be hundreds, no thousands of pounds worth of drinks in here. You really must thank your dad for the whiskey. Look around. There are racks of wine. Oh, right, the dark kitchen. You gotta find our dad. Thank him. Head back into the kitchen. Watching your new best friend. You stumble out of the utility room and back into the kitchen. That is one strong whiskey. You take another swig and give the thumbs up to dad across the room. He nods and winks. Go to dad. Wait, so we're drinking and drinking. Busy noise, you will need to find somewhere quieter. Living room. Go to hallway. Back out the hallway. A few bumps and laughs on the way through and you make it to the hall. You stop dead in your tracks. It's Jen, covered in blood. Talk to Jen. She's staring straight at you. No one else notices. Go to Jen. Blood is dripping down her face. It's mixing with tears. Go to Jen. I'm sorry, I'm not understand. What? Talk to Jen. Why is she covered in blood? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Talk to Jen. Sorry, I don't understand. Walk to Jen. Oh my god. Sadako? Talk to Jen. Oh? Sorry, I don't understand. We tried our best, Mrs. Aishin, but her injuries were too severe. Oh. No, I don't understand. I was just talking to her. I'm afraid Jennifer passed away before we could get to her in surgery. We did the best we could. I am so sorry. Where is she? Let me see her. Please, Mrs. Asian, take a seat. 
I don't want to take a seat. Let me talk to her. Now. I'll arrange for you to see her. In the meantime, James is in recovery. He's stable for now. I don't want to see him. What? You're standing in the hallway. Our own mother doesn't want to see us. While searching your mind, your sister interrupts. She waves her hand in front of you and asks if you can drive her home. You still feel out of sorts. The words echo. We're gonna drunk drive. We're the drunk driver. But of course, we're gonna say no. Yeah, yeah, we can talk in the car. Go get your keys. Get keys. Where's the kitchen and living room? Deep. It's all living room. Maybe my keys are there. You're sure your keys are in the living room? The living room is a much more relaxed atmosphere compared to the kitchen. I can hear the party downstairs. Various guests are sat on the chairs having civilized conversations. This coffee table in the middle of the room, your mom is wearing a drink to the coffee. Drink to me. Go to mom. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm being messaged. God dang, I yeah, I think I killed Jen, dude. I drunk drive. There's a coffee table in the middle of the room. Your mom is wearing coffee table drinks, one of the chairs. Check jackets and coats. You search through all the jackets and coats until you find yours. Aha! Car keys in the pocket. You grab both. Okay, wait. Dude, I killed Jeff. Holy crap. Go back to the hallway. Keys in hand, you head back into the hall. Jen thanks you for helping her out. She has work in the morning and no one else is in a fit I'm not in a fit state to drive. You know the road like back of your hand, don't you? I don't... Dude, I'm drunk as shit. Colder hits you. You're glad you have your jacket with you. There's a dusting snow around you as you step down the porch. The yard extends around the back of the house and the car sits at the point. Dude. Oh, God. It's snowing as well. It's, it's New Year's Eve. It's We're drunk and we're gonna slip and slide or something. You fumble. See, you fumble with the car handle, confused. Till Jen tells you to maybe use the keys in your hand. Why can't we let Jen drive? Unless she's also drunk. I think we're all drunk. Car's freezing, but you fumble around your seatbelt. Your sister opens up the girl glove box and hands you a note and a key that was inside. She tells you that it's for when you return. No. The usual steering wheel, handbrake, mission. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the...
that's for when I return. How does he know? It's weird. Oh, start the car. Dude, I don't like this. Try to turn the ignition with sheer pearl power despite holding keys in your hand. Use key. Takes a number of attempts, but you eventually slot the key in the ignition. Drive. Car skills, but stay stationary. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. See? Even right now, she. Drive. Oh no. You sh yes, I shouldn't be, dude. Oh no, you. I'm driving very drunk on the road towards the town where your sister stays distant. Oh my god. Sorry, can't remember. Fuck! Oh my god, this is intense. Come to a junction, is it left or right? Ask Jen. She grunts and throws her out to the left. It's left, of course it's left. I don't like this. You turn the car left at the junction and accelerate off. Confident that you are on the right road now, you just have to put your foot down on the accelerator. You feel powerful as the engine roars at your command. Jen sits up in her chair and clutches her arm. She asks you to slow down. That's not what really happened though, is it? No! Over the place, James. Pull over. Jen is sitting in your arm and yelling at you. Crazy sister, strange. There's a of headlights coming at you. Really slow, like slow motion. Slow down! You try to react, but your body isn't responding. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There's no way to control it. The lights merge with your car. The outside joins the inside. The whole world around you James, begins to for scream. Sake, pull over. Shit. James! No way. It was at this very moment, wasn't it, James? The moment you lost it all. Your sister. Your parents. Yourself. And then you made it worse. Worse? Go on. Show us what you did. Oh no! Holy crap! Okay. You release yourself from the seat. Guy takes over and stomp at the roof of your car. Pajonk. Look around. The car is broken beyond repair. The windows are smashed and there's a wreckage all around. You are both wearing your seat belts. have already taken off your seatbelt. What? It saved your life. What about Jen? Look at Jen. Save her. She's alive, but she's been hurt bad. She's trapped in the wreckage. Move wreckage. You can't move the wreckage from around her. It will be too dangerous. Save yourself. Get out. You squeeze through the wreckage and fall on your knees to the high ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your No, it's the same way that Alien got out. A blue car is smashed into the passenger side of your car. Your life gonna be ruined by this. You are standing holding your whiskey and your dad's note and flashing lights are approaching at a distance.
lights approach, you begin to hear the shrill of their sirens. You simply cannot go to jail for this. You clean the bottle to remove your connection with the whiskey. You then and deliberately spill the remainder of the bottle's contents on the driver and you toss the incriminating evidence onto his passenger seat. James, you're so stupid! He did that. He just poured it inside the, the driver's seat. But they're gonna test his blood and they're gonna see that he's not drunk. Like the, the other driver. I'm not saying you should do this when you're a drunk driver and you do this. No, don't do that. But like, again, you're drunk. They're going to test your blood and his blood. They're going to check who's drunk driving. Circle of flashing lights around you. Illuminating the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. One figure steps out the silhouette and walks towards you. Walk to silhouette. Sorry, you are not making any sense. The red and blue flashing lights are caused the pain in your head to be more severe. Move. You are not taking any sense. Okay. Go back to car. Go to silhouette. Walk. Talk? You try to talk, but you're not making any sense. You can't read the note. I'm covered in blood. Move. Close eyes? Talk to silhouette. You try to talk, but you are not making any sense. Talk. Go. Look at Jennifer. The lights are overwhelming. All other details are fading into the past. visions of your sister as you look into the pulsating lights no I don't they're at lights Go to lights. <laughs> you gotta remember the year just and this year it happened in 1986. Touch it. Pretend to be dead. Pretend to be dead. Touch lights. I'm trying to touch it, it's not working. <laughs> Maybe 1986? We just type that in. <laughs> Look at silhouette. The silhouette is a police officer and in uniform. He beckons you to approach. Approach. Oh my god, approach. Oh my god, really? I need to approach? Not 
walk to. Oh my god, as you approach the man, Poseidon you dies around you. What? I know you're tearing yourself apart over it, but no matter what you keep telling yourself, you have to listen to me. That accident. That poor man. Me. You have to remember. Jennifer? It was all your fault. Oh god. I knew what you did. How you left me there to protect yourself. Planting evidence on some poor man. You went headfirst into that officer and you wrecked all of our lives. And you couldn't even take responsibility. You did the right thing for you and no one else. Save yourself. Only it was wrong, wasn't it? Look at Sorry. You. Utterly consumed by it. I was drunk. Drive. Why Sometimes. would I drunk drive? So stupid. Say it. Tell them. I did it. To Dr. Alexander is always watching remote. I don't know if anyone else is ever with him. It has to end, James. What do you want me to do? Do you not understand? Well, I think we've made progress today, Mr. Asian. I guess we should tell the police what you've told us. Although I don't suspect it'll take you anywhere. I think you'll be with us for quite some time. I'm crazy. Come on. Let's get you back to your shows. I'll see you tomorrow. My god. God, dude. Oh. <laughs> the jet said you can. She basically provoked you. She's not a victim, yeah. I'm like, everyone was drunk. I don't care if she has like work in the morning. If I'm drunk, I'm not gonna drive anyone. She can just, if she has early morning, like, I know, the I know, the Quan, just kidding. She has early morning work, why would she drink? That, if she wants to work early, she might as well sleep, you know, sleep then go out early. Make an alarm. Because there's a party, dude. But still, why would I drunk drive? It's so weird. She would have said no. Asian said no. Should have said no. <laughs> Diano, yeah. He's doing Diano. All at developer, damn. Oh, devolver. Oh? Stories told. Man. This was an interview. Oh. What am I gonna do now? Okay, I'll have the stream on for now, wait. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm playing Soma, I can play Soma again. Not again, but like, I can play Soma, continue it. <laughs> you say again, play Soma again? Dummy.
Okay, I'll let this load. While I check for replies. Sister ordered me food because I need food. I didn't. Uh, crap! Wait, wait, wait. This will take a bit. I'm gonna cook some rice. Okay, I'm gonna let this. This is this is the screen for now. I'll, I'll cook some rice.
Come here. Come Hello guys Come back, okay. Monster eating. Welcome back, Mount. <coughs> found a done bat, but it's been quarantined. They need to find someone to do notes. Figured I want to done bat. Yes, we have base. Find lost art. Okay, let's load in. I want a bit. It's been loading quite a bit for some weird reason. There we go. We're back here. This is where I learned what is this? What in the graphic? What is.
What is this graphics, dude? 2012, baby. <laughs> what the crap? Yeah, baby, with the pig. Huh? Okay. It was just loading. It was just loading. It was just loading. <laughs> it feels like I was playing, like... Whatchamacallit? The, um... Half-Life. I mean, that's not bad playing that, but, like... Welcome to my place. Oh. When I started the art contact, I pretty much lived in this lab. What's this? This is her place, huh? Need to fix that mainframe connection. Well, I ain't PLDT, bro. Just this kidding. is where I would store the arc scans. Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Mm. That makes me feel much better. <laughs> Thanks. This all looks so fried. Oh, there's one here. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. You put it here. Then? Yep. Just as planned. Troubleshoot. And troubleshoot this one as well, just in case. Well, guess not, I guess. Let's check more. Maybe there's more. Nope, there's only these. So where? Is that troubleshoot? What in the Where's our blood there, bro? This? Suburb of their contact maintenance. I'm missing something here, am I? Is it servers? Fix the servers? No one's messaging me. So we good. I should change the thing. Do we need to go back? I said I need to fa fix something. Oh, what the what? What's here? Maybe I need to go here. Nope, nothing here. What to the lights? Simon, the last report filed by the staff mentioned struggling with something called a proxy. The proxy we killed was blind, just like acres, but it listens. Careful, we spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. I'll keep my eyes open. I am forgetting something. I'm in danger. to fix something. I don't know what to fix. But I'm gonna fix the it. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? 
It's a Tell the laboratory terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Oh no. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. You were guys were talking about the something. Of our laboratory have lost connection to the mainframe. Head downstairs and reset the router. Oh my god. Missing? How can you miss? Oh, they were talking about my name! No, I shouldn't have entered. Grimy. Oh no. Go. Who oh, hear that? being forced to go there? Being forced to the... to the place where there's like... screams. there but keep walking big message thank you of course I had like a stun button. Why did I just bring it all the way here so I can fight someone with it? You know? What router? open that dude bam 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 i should shut up i should shut up i should just stop running stop running stop running oh well i'm dead <laughs> oh part of the game part of the game part of the game to die man get conked out i don't know how he heard me though like earlier oh big message Welcome back, Mon.
Oh my god. All I have to do is press that. I think the next hit I'm gonna die, so... Oh, it's raining. Rainy rainings. Screw that guy. I got bonked the heck out of that. Good job, sir. This better have worked. I'm not going down there again. I need to heal. No more wow things? Crap. I used them all. Now I know the purpose. I think Mark will know. I think Mark will know, right? Since he seems to be freaking. No, it won't work. We need someone from Theta Security Group. Okay. Peter Strasky. That one won't work either. Look for security people at Kronstadt or Strohmeyer. Oh, so I was trying to throw my air. Robin Bass. No, I don't think so. 
Stromai recruited people from the evacuated sites. They should also know the cipher, if you can find one of them. Brandon. Very promising. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. How's it work? Why am I chatting me? I'm chatting me. Okay, food's on the way. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're gonna have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Beach? I think beach was good. That wasn't so bad. Strom, I really got me worked up. Bastard. What? How did I get here? Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chen, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Listen, I really need your help. I need the new security system. Dr. Chen? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one oh, here. No. It's empty. It's too empty. Simon, you just reset the simulation. Sorry, but there's something missing. What's this? Nope. Sure, that's the only one. I'm sorry, wait. I feel like we're missing something. No, we're not. Crap. My bad, my bad. Ski lodge? It was getting so bad. Really it was getting stressful. scan meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. She really doesn't care about my comments. That wasn't so bad. Stroma really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Don't be afraid. Chuck? What happened to you? I can't see anything. Wait. There's nothing here. It's okay. It's all a part of the scam. No, no, that's that's a lie. You're lying. Don't get upset, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why are you why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, John. I trusted you. Do we so? need to turn it off? Can we just keep them alive until we've got the ciphers? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up, bastard. What? How did I get here? Welcome back, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chen, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Everything's fine. Theta needs your help. We need the new security cipher. Dr. Chen? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! 
So? I think we need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. Here. I think we need a scan room. So there bad. we go. This room I really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did you? Alice? Alice. The scan is done. Are you feeling alright, Mr. Wan? Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is the trick. Please, this is important. I think you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. You won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Oh, wow. How many times are we gonna have to do this? Come on, Simon. Don't give up now. Said we need Alice. Can we get Alice? Alice is not here. Wait. What's this game about? It's about like... You started out as like... Um, you get your brain scan. For some reason, the brain scan led me here. Now I'm inside a robot. With my mind. And we're trying to save humanity because like... A comet struck the earth. And it's basically unlivable now. And right now we're doing brain scans. We're check we're we need the brain scans to put in the arc, then shoot it out to space. And our brain scans are gonna be in that random satellite. And we're we're basically gonna live there. Avatar? Mm, kinda I guess, yeah. We're it's like brain scanning but without the the blue guys, you know? We're basically scanning our own brains and we're putting it in like like a satellite thing. And once it's there, we can live inside that space. Okay, wait. Hear me? Yeah, brain scans. So a lot of brain scans happening right now. We're gonna need the brain scan of someone who knows uh, the secret code to something. To the Dunbat so we can use it. Maybe 
maybe there's a computer for Alice. Either Alice or the other guy. Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Why could you do that to all of them? If we get to know him, maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. It's like it's a weird concept where, where if your brain gets scanned, you're gonna live, then you get like put into a robot like this one. Your memories are still intact. It's just that the last thing you remember is that what happens before that. For example, in this part, in this game, you get your brain scanned, then for some reason you somehow quote unquote time travel into a robot because it's your brain scan is inside the robot. Child Award. Good for you, Brandon. And for some reason, we can read these. I'm waiting for stress. Like, listen to it. Listen to the history. Of it. Or at least the last, the last message. That's right. I think it's a part of our robot system. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Yeah, Alice. I guess they even knew of each other. Interesting. This Thank is you. family. Hakers finally gr agreed to evacuate Delta. Goya, Creer, and I moved into that Data that day. Hacker said he'd stick around for a while longer. That crazy bastard. I'd take pride in my work, but god dang, that place is miserable since the service stopped sending parts. Like I was, my brain, my like Alice and wait, sorry, my brain scan was like in 2015, and I got my my brain scan got loaded up into this robot, which is now in 20 2103. Do scans together. Oh, we can definitely use that. Our scan Alice with together. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe. You're gonna enough to trick him? Out. Okay. Definitely feeling good about this. I was fine at first, good but... Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So but it comes it's... naturally to you. Yeah. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. <laughs> Biggest pain was that Shun girl. She's so freaking uncomfortable at all times, it makes me skin crawl. Sherma, you're with ballistic, shut down all feature scans for the art project. Apparently Conrad wanted in on the continuity and just fried himself right in the pilot seat after a scan. Something else maybe we'll be getting used to security ciphers. Just heard that Comer Rebe survey team is going to Delta and pick up hackers. He's been alone for months now. I can't imagine what he's been up to. Oh man, I can smell the food. I'm gonna eat at like 2 p.m. Let's say 2 p.m. PM because I've been playing as well for since what time was I? I've been playing for almost three hours. So she to be Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. Sound and look. So I can make her appear. No. Goodbye. No, wait. 
Why you do that? Could have stopped it before you That's left. You should have tanked and left. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. I'm not gonna erase it. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dunbat now. Get back here. Why did it load? There's bound to be a monster, I bet. If it loads like that, there's a monster. Like these doors are ajar. Sounds easy enough. Go right into the abyss. God, I really need the, I really need the wow. It heals me. It's not plugged in yet. There we go. happened okay there's a way up here why are we going up here the Dunbat has its own mind it talked That lag? That was a loading screen. Plan B. Crap. Oh, we don't have it done by now. Well.
Yes. Kill me. God. Oh. Okay. We're healed. Catherine, there's a problem. Huh? Wait, this isn't... Oh, no! Wow got to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Yep. Well, it was talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's gotta be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the climber in Omicron. It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the abyss. Then we do that. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype in everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the Ark. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? How? Recently, we decided the Ark project would become Pathos 2's last official commitment. The staff has been urged to carry on with their duties despite Earth's catastrophic condition. I think the Ark project is the most logical step towards saving mankind, and we should spend as much time as. Strongly agree. To embark, every passenger needs to be flushed with electromagnetism using a pilot seat. These scanning sessions are known to cause nausea and headaches, something lasting up to three days. I think temporary facilities are no matter how severe the small price. Yeah. The Ark is built to fit a Ranger MKV-2 probe, meaning it should be shot in space with Omega Space Gun. And technically survive for thousands of years, living off the light from our sun and distant stars. I think the Ark should leave Earth behind to be launched into space. Yes, we need the um, solar powers. The digitalization of humanity is an opportunity to make a quantum leap in our own evolution. The people inside the Ark will out of necessity be generated from existing genetic code, but could be altered to allow for cosmetic changes, ease aging, and to even prevent death. I think we are at risk of losing our humanity if we get rid of the disease and our mortality. Disagree, there's still humanity even if we're immortal, right? There are only 58 people left alive to be stored inside the Ark. A way to diversify and expand the population would be introduced artificial intelligence that should be every way appear to be human, but childlike and naive sensibilities. As we continue to explore the nature of intelligence, we may find a way to make them smarter in the future. I think even in fair group of people, artificial intelligence agree, I guess, so long as they don't kill us. Oh yeah, Kayla, if you're still there, um, Silent said he's gonna catch up. I'll just try. They're gonna watch the new Transformers. Dang, you're gonna watch Transformers. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. <laughs> we're literally human. We're one with it. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imaging. 
Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. Oh. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Oh, the, the one we saw. The skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the Cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Cat, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both oh. worlds. A sound mind I'm and a sound both. body. It's weird. But still don't. At least we know how to get on the ground. Sort of. I understand the concept, but I don't know the specifics. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. That's Phi, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then Phi. Let's do it. Wow, that's so cool. It's the whole gang. A crew photo? Really? Who are you saving this for? The world was dead. Thanks, Simon. <laughs> I thought being an asshole was invented until the 22nd century. Now I know better. <laughs> I want to watch Transformers 2, but tell him I'm a bigger fan of Transformers than <laughs> Okay. You should play with us first. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Transformer seems like interesting, the new one. Like I honestly never, I haven't watched any of the oh sh crap, any of the um the trailers for it. I just know there's a new one. People are hyped about it. This been my childhood. Do this my childhood stuff, man. Dude, Catherine, I'm gonna have to swipe the Omni tool. Start an art simulation. I want to see how it works. How in the hell do you start an arc simulation? Oh, these. That's the arc. The arc doesn't even look that bulky. This is gonna be easy. You haven't heard of the concept of jinxing, have you? Sorry, I forgot your people were superstitious. Your people? Your people? Really? Where in the heck do I plug this? I am Confucians. Maybe I just need to connect these two. No, they're both pointy points. Here, oh my god, terabytes. All of these are terabytes.
Soma. See that? Where's Soma? Then Rec. Right, there it is. Yes, of course. So precise, so perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh, right. Yeah. Are we done here? Can we go to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? Now that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. Of course. And I think we're gonna end there. I need to eat. Like eat. Like nom 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 nom. I'm gonna continue this later. I'll try my whole child. I'm talking. <laughs> nice. The most frightening coins is her bumblebee. Man. I always love bumblebee. Thanks, Kayla. Like Bumblebee. Nori, no! I'm going to eat! <laughs> no! Good afternoon! I'm about to eat. I might play this again later. Probably 3 p.m. I'll stream it, don't worry. If you're there, can you hear me? Damn it, again? <laughs> yeah! Okay, bye, I guess. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream at 3. Are you are down? Are you gonna watch? Bizos, are you gonna watch? Cause I can't stream a tree. That or I'm gonna nap. Down, maybe. Okay. I'll say three or four. But if you want, G. Yeah. I'll just I'll just ping you or I'll t I'll message you. Yeah, I'm gonna stream again later. I just need to eat. I need to eat. Thank you guys for watching. Rest. I can probably rest for two hours after eating. An hour. Cause it's Saturday. I wanna play. I wanna keep playing. Yeah. GG's you guys. I'm gonna end the stream. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be back later. Because Nori will also watch. Alright. Thanks, Paperly. Thanks, third boys and third gals. See you later. Uh, bye bye. Bye.